Hey guys, today we are updating the firmware on my Reolink IP security cameras. Some are LAN or network cameras and some are connected directly to the Reolink in VR or network video recorder. Some cameras are actually network cameras but they're recording on the NVR. We'll dive into these scenarios and the various user interfaces to get the cameras updated. This is a step-by-step -step video with lots of information, so let's get started. So here are the two scenarios that we're going to be looking at today. First off, we're going to be updating the firmware on a Reolink independent camera over my LAN or network. Here we have the camera, and in this scenario, the camera is not connected or recording to the network video recorder. The camera is connected to a PoE switch and a modem or router. We also have a PC connected here at the bottom that could be used to record footage and access the live feed. Now over the internet, I can interact with the camera using my cell phone. And now in this second scenario, I'll show you how to update the cameras that are connected to the NVR directly. Here we have three cameras that are connected to the PoE ports on the NVR. So I'll take this scenario a step further. Let's add a couple of network cameras that I will upgrade over the NVR. I'll connect them to the PoE switch, then we'll add a modem or router, and that will give them internet access. Now using the NVR's LAN port, let's get them connected to the NVR so the NVR has full access to the cameras. Lastly, we're going to add a PC and a mobile device just for completeness. So these are the two scenarios we're going to be covering today and all the ways that we can update the firmware on these devices. All right, so let's get rolling with those scenarios. In the first one here, I have my camera located outside right here. And in my basement, we have the PoE switch. The switch is connected to my modem or router, which gives it an IP address and I have access to it over my network and on the internet. To perform the firmware update on this camera, I have three options. I could use the camera's own internal web user interface over my PC. I could use the PC Reolink app, and again, that would be on my PC, or I could use the Reolink app on my mobile device. Well, maybe some of the camera's firmware have that option, like this one here, and some of them don't, like this one here. I have also noted that in some cameras, there is an option in the firmware to auto upgrade the device, but that feature didn't seem to be functioning as expected, so hence the need for this video. So even before we start the upgrade, I want to know if it's necessary or not. So I need to know what's currently installed on the camera and what the current uh, most recent version available is. So in this case, the currently installed version can be found here by using a camera's IP address to access the camera's web internal interface. Using the PC app, the version can be located right here on the camera info page. And lastly, the most easiest way to do it is on the mobile device, and it can be found right here. So just as a side note, if you happen to have the feature in your firmware to check for updates, be cautious when using it. So just for example, I have version 3.1.0.764 and when I tried to do the update it says I had the latest installed but when I go to the Reolink site the latest version is .861 so that might just be for major updates I'm not sure so for me I'm not going to consider using that feature and we'll continue to perform the firmware update manually so jumping back to the backyard camera here let's verify the latest version of the firmware available so we'll go to the Reolink site and make our way over to the download center here I'll enter the product IP camera and I'll find the model number and select the hardware version. Now this camera is a couple of years old and has been discontinued but thankfully Reolink is still providing the option to download the latest firmware available. So by looking at the firmware versions I am due for an update so let's get this downloaded. And by the way older or previous versions of the firmware are not available. Now that the file is downloaded, let's move it to a folder on my desktop for quicker access. And there are two ways to perform the manual update. First of all is using the web user interface. Second of all, using the PC app. Using a mobile device is obviously not an option here as we just saw. Here in the web user interface, I'm gonna to navigate to settings and maintenance and we'll click to find the pack file. And since I don't want to reset the configuration or return the camera to factory defaults, I'm going to deselect these checkboxes. 
And now we're gonna click upgrade. I'm not actually going to do the upgrade here, but rather over in the PC app, I just wanted to show you what the process was. So here in the PC app, the process is very similar. Go to settings, system and maintenance, and then select the file and uncheck the box. I'll press the upgrade button and confirm. And now we're gonna fast forward for a few minutes here while the update gets completed and it's done. So now it's time to verify that the update was successful. The old version that we had installed was 2.0.0.654 and currently we have installed 3.0.0.142. I'll call that a success. Okay, so now it's time for the second scenario where we have the cameras attached to the NVR directly and the camera connected to the recorder over the network. You may remember these four cameras that I installed in a previous video about a year ago right outside my front door. Now, right off the bat, it's important to note that these cameras are connected directly to the NVR and they cannot be updated using the web user interface or PC app or mobile device. So here in the PC app, these are the cameras that are recording on the NVR. And when I look at the settings, I can update the NVR's firmware and I can see the NVR's firmware version, but I cannot configure or update any of the directly connected cameras. The only way to achieve this is using the built-in operating system on the NVR. So here we are in the NVR's operating system. Let's bring up the menu and look at the connected cameras. We have channels one through four and they are plugged directly into the NVR. We'll start with those. So like in the first scenario, I want to know their installed versions and the most recent version that's available. That information, unfortunately, is not available using the firmware on the NVR. So that means I have two options here. I can go to the Reolink site, download the latest version of the firmware and try to upgrade the cameras anyways. If it works, I'll get a success message. And if it fails, I'll get a failure message. The only risk here is we'll also get a failure message if there is another type of failure and we won't know why exactly it failed. The second option is to disconnect the camera from the NVR and connect it to my network and use the web user interface or PC app or even a mobile device to get the currently installed firmware version. Let's give that a run through here real quick. I'll plug the camera into my network's PoE switch. And here we are in the mobile app. I'll add the camera from the LAN and I'll need to give it a password which will need to be added to the NVR later unless we're going to reset the device back to factory settings first. Now I navigate to the device info and here we have version 2.0.0.17. Since the camera is an add-on device to this NVR kit we're going to go to the download center and we'll have to select that option and the model version and the hardware and here we have the most recent version of the firmware available for download. And if you are wondering if we can upgrade this camera over the LAN like we just did in scenario one, the answer is yes. But the purpose of this scenario is doing it in the NVR. So let's get it done there. So next I'll plug my thumb drive into my computer and move the files over. And now we'll connect the camera back to the NVR and plug in the thumb drive. So here we are in the NVR and we cannot see channel three. And if I look for the reason why, it says there's an invalid password. So I'm going to update the password and give it the password that I just set when I added it to the mobile device. And bingo, we see the live feed. Looking at the list of connected cameras here, we can see there's a name and channel for each of the cameras. The channels are very important to note here because in the next screen, we're going to select that channel to get the firmware update. And I obviously want channel three for camera number three. Now let's go into the system page and click maintenance. And here now we're going to click upgrade IPC from USB. I will leave selected the update config file checkbox so that the camera will reset back to factory settings and reset the password. And now we select the firmware file. Let's kick off the upgrade and fast forward. And we have a message saying that the upgrade was successful, but there is no image. I need to now delete the password that I just set in the NVR and bingo that worked. So let's uh, update the name back to camera number three. All right, so I could leave it here and assume that everything was good, but let's again take this another step farther and confirm the firmware version by placing the camera back onto my network again and accessing it that way and then we'll go and make sure that the version has been updated. This time we're going to use the PC app instead of the mobile app. 
the app shows us which camera we need to add. So we're going to give it a password and give it a name. Now the old version is 2.0.0.17 and the new one is 3.0.0.183. If you do this step, you'll either need to update the password for the camera on the NVR or do a factory reset to wipe out that password. So in this last scenario, we're going to be updating a camera through the NVR's operating system, but the camera this time is connected to my LAN or network and not directly connected to the NVR. Here is the camera that's located outdoors, pointing towards my front door. The process is actually exactly the same, except this time I can easily access the currently installed versions of the camera because it's located on my network and not behind the NVR. So the current version is 3.0.0.177. And yes, I could use scenario one to do the update, but I've committed to using the NVR and we're gonna continue down that route. But we're going to speed things along here since we're familiar with the process. I've already grabbed the latest firmware from the Reolink site and plopped it onto the thumb drive. So the camera that we're updating here is a LAN camera. And as you can see, it uses channel five. Here on the maintenance page, click the upgrade IPC from USB button, and now select the pack file for the LAN camera. And we're going to select the files here actually for the three other cameras on the NVR, the ones that are directly connected to the NVR that we didn't do, but we know it works because we did one already in this scenario, but we're going to do the other three right now because you can do multiple cameras at once, which is pretty cool. And we're going to fast forward through this and here we have it, success. So I'm going to jump into the LAN camera with my mobile device and check out the version number. And now we have 3.1.0.861. That worked. All right, folks, there you have it. That's how you update the firmware on Reolink's security cameras. I would recommend updating the cameras manually as opposed to using the auto update feature. I did like, however, how you could update multiple cameras at once over the NVR, but verifying the firmware version of the directly connected cameras to the NVR was a bit of a pain as we saw, but is not necessarily required. I will leave some Reolink product links in the description below, and sometimes I have some coupon codes from them, so I'll also put those there as well. I hope that you found this information helpful. If so, leave me a thumbs up, and as always, go ahead and subscribe for more home tech DIY projects you can do yourself. Thanks for watching.